Hello students, I am Jyotha Hattarji, your biology teacher and I am going to cover your class 9 biology course. You have 6 chapters in your syllabus and today we will start your first chapter, it means the 5th number chapter, that is the fundamental unit of life. The fundamental unit of life means the basic unit of life which form all the living beings, maybe plants, maybe animals. So, in this chapter, actually we will know about cell. This chapter is about the cell, which forms all the living beings. Like, so before that, I will introduce you the parts of the chapter. We will divide this part into first introduction. to discovery number three that is the uh, types of or kinds of cells kinds of cells number four shapes and sizes Shapes and sizes depends upon their function also. Now comes the structure. And at last comes the division. So like this here we have divided this chapter into six parts. So today we will discuss only about introduction parts and discovery parts. In next classes we will discuss about kinds of cells. So in this introduction parts we will know what is the fundamental units means that how living beings form. Just think about a building. How a building form? Bricks and bricks and bricks. So many bricks joins together and form a building. So if we think bricks as the basic unit of a building, same way we can think that the cell is the basic unit of life or living being. All the plants and animals form by cells. So now we know about who has given and how the cells discovered, how scientists developed the idea about cells. For this part means the discovery part actually. For this discovery, Robert who in the year of 1665 he was the first biologist who first observed cells in cork cork of tree means cork means the substance substance which you get from the tree bark there he has observed some honeycomb like structure this is a structure this is called honeycomb like structure a hexagonal pattern now he observed the structure observed this pattern just looking like a honeycomb in honeycomb so many small small cells are there that's looking like small small chamber or small small houses in latin word these small small chambers or small chambers are called cell so from that latin word for the, the honeycomb like structure robert who got the idea that it's maybe the name should be given as cell still now we are using this term as cell so here he has got and he used very primitive or self design 
microscope remember microscope microscope is very essential in this chapter because we cannot see the cell directly so microscope is taking a very important part here and robert to discover his own microscope a very primitive microscope and observe the structure of cell now after robert who came newman who in the year of 1674 leon who in the year of 1674 he again developed one little bit developed microscope that is better than leon robert hooke's microscope and he observed some cells in the pond the complete a living being with you can say this is called unicellular organisms in the pond water he was expert in some glass uh, so he developed this microscope and got the idea of cells in pond water he observed some cells in the pond next came in the year of um, you can say Robert Brown in the year of Brown in the year of 1831 Robert Brown came with the idea of nucleus nucleus in the cell the medium they are present the brain of the cell the center of the cell which gives all the information with the main part of the cell after robert brown came now after robert brown parkinsy came 1838 he has given idea about protoplasm protoplasm in a cell we know that nucleus is there but there are some jelly like substances present in the cell these are called protoplasm this protoplasm's idea got by parkinsy in the year of 1839 now come to the point next cell theory cell theory means scientist in the year of actually it is 1838 and 1839 schleiden and schwann schleiden and schwann two biologists they have ultimately came with the cell theory it means cell theory means cell theory it means cell is the basic unit of life for plant also for animal also cell form the all the body structure maybe it's unicellular cell maybe it's multicellular cell everywhere they form the body so this idea given by schleiden and schwar Eighteen thirty-eight and eighteen thirty-nine. After that, Rudolf Virchow, Rudolf Virchow, Rudolf Virchow, eighteen fifty-five. He has came in the year of eighteen fifty-five. He has discovered. that he has came some more extended theory of cell he said that all the cell develops from a pre existing cell okay 
a cell can develop from develop from the pre-existing cell. It means cells directly cannot jump in the earth. Directly, suddenly one day a cell cannot form. It must come from earlier cell. It means they have their parent cells. So from pre-existing means already existed cell. A cell present already. From that a new cell can develop. This theory is given by Rudolf Virchow. He got the idea that a cell can come from its pre come from the pre-existing cell from its parent cell. Okay. At last, I told that microscope is very important part to develop and to identify and analysis of cell. Here, at last, in the year of 1940, we got the Electron, electron microscope, electron microscope. By discovering this electron microscope, we got the idea about the proper cell, about the structure of cell, about the organelles of cell, how cell develop and how it divide. Okay, so today up to this one, all the discoveries per. And next day, we will discuss about the uh, shapes and sizes of cell and different kinds of cell. Okay? Thank you.